are so like next level. Next. Next level. We're so next level that now we don't even have to do a fucking thirty seconds before. I'm just getting good. I'm just getting good. Uh, the software is getting better. <laughs> so, welcome to the Bastards Council, TBC. TBC. Fifty. Fifty. Yeah, we're already fifty. Two more, and it's a full fucking year. Two more, and it's a full fucking year. Can you believe it? We're gonna do something big. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be big. Hummus. Episode fifty-two Hummus? is gonna be it's awesome. Gonna be big. I have to show you a James some James Veach. Mm. Hey, video. Did you guys see uh, Punisher? I seen all of them. Me too. They were you? great. Ah, oh, come on, man! I mean, what the hell? Is we the can't talk with about you? Justice League. Can't talk about. You're only good for discussing Nintendo, and even <laughs> then, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, Punisher, I don't mind. I know I'm gonna watch it, but it like I don't want Justice League to get spoiled. But Punisher, I don't care. So let's talk about Justice. I watched League. Superman Return. Oh, welcome to 1996. That's <laughs> oh, 2006. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew what you meant, but I... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Was it really that? Yeah. 2006? Yeah. 2006? Yeah. 2006? Yeah. 10 years it, ago. It feels like it was... Yeah, you're years. right. You're right. It was 10 years ago. Mm. Or 11. Fuck. You gotta be really specific with that year. It's 11 years. Did you stay... Oh, I can't even talk about it. For what? Okay, what? I won't give a spoiler. Did you stay till the very end yes, of, of Justice course, League? Of course. Yeah. They went Marvel with that one. <laughs> well, yes, but I mean... It, it was it, it's cool like what's coming cool i thought but if they can get it with, without without, it. without saying uh, uh spoilers. spoilers what did i think yeah i thought it was probably the best out of the dc eu more than wonder woman yes okay but i still thought it was a mess it was a mess yeah and that's that's the problem i've been having with all dc movies a lot of them feel like there were too many hands, like too many cooks in the kitchen. Mm. Like there wasn't mm. a, a set vision. Well, you know, you know what bothers me is because they had uh, what's his name Snyder. As yeah, the, and uh, then they had Whedon, right? And then they, yeah, and you know, I like I like Whedon because he did Firefly, uh, but he did Avengers too. Buffy, Buffy. Buffy yeah, yeah, I mean, I never it, got into so that. But the reason why Snyder couldn't, uh, I think he had to leave because of, like I think it was a health issue or something with his family. Yeah. Or something. Well, yeah. whatever it is, like yeah. I I heard some of the things that that's like Snyder had done. And it's like, man, that's that's the kind of movie that I wanted. Hmm. Um, so like, I'm really not giving away anything by saying what Snyder, what the Snyder version had. Uh, basically, uh, Dark Side is was supposed to be actually in the movie, uh, like not not a big part, but a little bit. And apparently, like Stephen Wolf fails, uh, and Dark Side kills him, and tries to convince Superman to to join him and all of that. So like, Superman's in the movie. Okay, well, you see, but this is this is the the Snyder version. I think I think that works for like an animation sense, but like for a movie like that, that's where I mean where it can, it can get really messy. Like I don't know where these characters come in, and the thing that I had a big problem with with Justice League was we. Like, this isn't a spoiler because you know there, some of the other characters in the movie don't have like standalone movies so yeah you're, you're so getting, that, that that's that's that, that's one of my biggest uh, points was the thing was that i think i told you this like off camera last yeah. week where it's like we don't have like Mar marvel had all their standalone movies yeah and then did avengers mm -hmm. whereas this one the only standalone movie really was Ma man of steel and Wonder Woman and Batman versus Superman, I guess, was a Batman. But movie. we all know who Batman but is. But we all know so. Bat. We, we've seen so many iterations of him that that we don't need really his introduction anymore. Mm. And here's like Aquaman is getting introduced in Justice League, and he only ha gets an introduction of what five minutes. You know, like th that's what they had to introduce him. Whereas instead of a full movie like mm. Marvel did with you know, take your pick, um, and then Cyborg, same thing. And Cyborg sometimes just felt like. I don't know, not emo, but there was just something about it that, like, it just seemed like too needed, rushed. Needed, yeah, it was it felt very rushed. Even with Aquaman, you you see some parts of his own story going on. Yeah, but it, we're talking about maybe 10, 15 minutes put together of like Aquaman all stuff. like yeah, all separated. Yeah, all separated, not all together in one. Sh uh, thing. And there's even less for Cyborg. So you see these things going on, and they basically they use Cyborg like a, a ex machina, okay. where he. he they use them to move the story along, but mm. it's out of nowhere. It was that's what I meant by it was a mess. And and I liked Flash though. Flash was really awesome. Flash was yeah, cool. yeah, I thought he was really cool. Um, Very funny. But the thing with Marvel, what was good, is because all their standalone movie before Avenger was so good, so people got attached to them. Now it's like every DC movie they do stand alone it's not too good now they do one where they're all in it so what's going to be the interest to go see uh 
uh, Aquaman movie or a cyber movie well, if it, if their star was not so well, good. You know, it kind of sucks. Well, that. here that's true. Yeah. And before Mar when Marvel was talking about getting to the Avengers, moving up with the yeah. uh, the standalones, nobody gave a flying fuck about Thor ever. You had him in like cartoons and mm -hmm. stuff, but the comic book sales and just historically, Thor wasn't a, that popular mm -hmm. a character to give a movie to. That's why it took so long for anyone to even think about giving Thor a movie. Same thing to an extent with Iron Man. Iron Man was more popular than Thor, but it took Marvel gave, making its own studio for them to make an Iron Man movie. The thing wasn't even a thought. Right. Um, and it was the way Marvel uh, Marvel went stylistically, very with a vision that made those movies big. I mm -hmm. think DC can make. The cyborg and the like, and Aquaman was a very well known character before. I think they could totally make good standalone movies if you don't take it as like this is a superhero movie type of thing. Mm. It's, it's just an action movie, right? And and really have a vision for it. That's well, I think that, that that's also what helped uh, Marvel's like uh, the, the their cinematic universe. Yeah, uh, is that they're, they're like. You didn't have to like I, I like let's say take my mother. My mother had no like doesn't know anything about Captain America, at all. My dad obviously does. My dad had a shit ton of comics, comics, and they went to see it together. And like my mother ended up really liking it. And I think it's because just the way they present it, it's it's done in such a non typical comic way. Comic yeah. way, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and so uh, whereas th that that's the thing when I was watching this, I was like this could so be like a cartoon but it's it's just something about it was weird and and you know you know what just pissed me off is just batman versus superman the way it uh, like there was the visions of seeing the parademons they had the dark side symbol and it's like this is what's coming and it's like we have parademons in the fucking movie in the, the justice league but no dark side yeah. and it's like like why like and and then the fact that they they, they almost like Sorry, I think no, I no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, they they were the Snyder version had something about like similar to the Injustice story, and I feel like there was some bit of it going on in in, in this movie, and it's like no, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, it could have gone fuck you, it you know, gone it's, Flashpoint, and I think DC uh, kind of it's like no, the, it's not the, it's not DC, it's Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, yeah, yeah Warner Brothers. Yeah, I guess I should be criticizing Warner yeah. Brothers and not DC. It's because it's not DC who wants their own, the, their own studio. They do have their own EU, but it is Warner mm. Brothers who's, who's running that. Yeah. And I think there there's some. This, I'll get into this a little uh, after this, but I think with DC really dropped the ball this time on may, being able to go just have a, a cinematic universe that's really um, interesting, especially with uh, Infinity Wars coming up. And oh, that's gonna be great! And, yeah. I'm, and I'm not even into Aven Avengers that much. Like for me, for Marvel, what I'm into when it comes to Marvel is the X Men. Yeah. Uh, but but like I'm excited for Infinity Wars. Yeah, it, it, they've built it up so well over the last ten years. With their they had phases, and this is what's gonna go on. It was very well set from the beginning, and to see all of these one of the biggest one of the uh, few movies that has such a huge ensemble cast all together with main roles. It's it's gonna be fantastic yeah. to see and be probably really fucking difficult to replicate. Mm -hmm. um, and I think once those hit, that'll be the standard. Like this is how you do a, a cinematic universe. Well, yeah, exactly. And, and just look at and not only that, like Infinity Wars, like it's, that we know it's gonna be good. Look at the build up to get to yeah. it. Yeah. Right. I mean, once they did the Avengers, then after that, when they started, when they went back to do other standalone movies of the, of the characters, they still pushed the story forward, right? Yeah. And the, some of these standalone movies, you know, they take place in sequence and like Captain America Civil War yeah. was pretty much an Avengers movie. It, it, it's you know, exactly Spider-Man yeah, appears, true, yeah. everybody, you know. Just, I've, I've spoken about Civil true. War before, so I'm a really big fan of the comic story arc, which the movie had absolutely almost very little to do with. Mm. And... Coming off of that, usually when they change source material, you, you get upset. It's like, why would the fuck would you do that? But I think what they did with Civil War was perfect for a movie because the story arc for the comic books was very long and it was very drawn out and you needed a lot. And for to do it in one movie, to be able to get to the Infinity Wars, I thought it was really cool. And another thing was they knew who the Infinity Wars villain was from Iron Man. Right, from Dark before Man. even getting to it. Right? For, and they yeah. had little, little scenes every movie to show that he's, he's preparing and whatever. Mm. I think that is fantastic instead of rushing it and like this guy comes out of nowhere. Well, that's you know? the, yeah, and, and then that's I think that's the thing with um, uh, with Marvel is they did all of these things like a movie for this, movie for that, and it built up to now Infinity Wars. 
you look at Batman versus Superman. We said this before. That could have been three movies. And I think Justice League could have been probably another two or three also. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, and it's like, it's just, boom, it's, they're just pushing it. And it's like, okay, are we going to slow down at some point? Like, are we going to, is is Warner Brothers going to say, okay, we reached a level that, that Marvel is at now. Let's slow down. But I think by then it's like, man, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm bashing it, it's but not, I still I enjoyed it. it. I, I still just, enjoyed Justice League. It's just when I see what it could have been, to me, it's like, yeah, man, I come on, my man. My biggest I've problem is. 25 years for this shit. I, 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 I'll bash Batman versus Superman, and you like that movie. Yeah. This one, I don't think, I think it was a better, a, like I said, I thought it was the best Warner Brothers DC movie uh, for for the EU extended universe. I just think that they're they're trying to go toe to toe with Marvel, like yeah. they're trying to win a race. Yeah, but that's it's a, not a race. You it's can, not a race. You can exist at the same fucking time. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to talk, mention earlier was uh, Warner Brothers had the biggest decade for movies. The last one in the last decade with Harry Potter. That franchise made them so much fucking money, and they were in like top ten for a long time for the uh, highest selling movies of all time. Um, they didn't really have a franchise after that. They did everything. They defined like a movie that, uh, I don't know if you guys ever read the Harry Potter book, but the last book, you you had to do two movies. You okay. had to do part one and part two because you couldn't oh, really? cut anything I, I thought that was just like a cop-out. No, no, no. Okay. Because like... Uh, not a cop-out. Cop-out like, to get more money, I mean. A lot of people will say that, but if you read the book, right. there was no way to cut out key... There were so many key parts to that ending of the, the story. You, you needed to have that. Who and did that, Lord of the Rings? Um, I'm not sure, so, okay, but so. that one was definitely a cop-out because it was like a 200-page book and they put, made three movies out of it. What, Lord of the Rings? The, the Hobbit, sorry. Oh, The Hobbit, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, I thought what Warner Brothers did to the, like, we have to cut this in two movies because then people will actually be upset. That was great. But then everyone now is trying to do two movies for the last one. They extended it. It is a cop out money thing. Instead of making it what it like it absolutely has to, everyone's doing that. Mar Warner Brothers had a great fucking decade, and they, they pioneered a few things. The first five years of this decade, they had very little. They had Man of Steel, which was a little underwhelming at first, mm. uh, like critically. Uh, even performance wise, it was a little underwhelming. Then you, they jumped right into Batman versus Superman, which was horribly criticized. Wonder Woman was actually well received, but it still didn't pick up that money that they were that perform that Marvel money. But Marvel only started making that type of money over years. Over years, yeah, they yeah. had a long term vision. Yeah, yeah it was, mm. it, it, and they, they were a studio that wasn't looking to make lots and lots of money off of one movie. It was like we're trying to build up our, ourselves up as a studio. And I think DC th or Warner Brother thinking of like we have to win this decade. First off, you can't win this decade right now. <laughs> it's it, it's out the window with all the movies Marvel's put out that have always beaten records. Your four movies will not overtake that. Yeah. Take mm. fucking time. Flesh out a story. If it takes you 15 years, great. We'll have great movies. Mm. It's not like we're not rushing to see the end. We're just like to see great movies. Yeah. And I, I mean, like the Harry Potter stuff was great all the way up. They had a nice build up. They it, and it was obviously following that, books. That lasted a long time, eh? Like how many years was Harry Potter? It started Potter in two thousand one, and I think mm. it ended in 2011, 2012. Yeah, they went for yeah? a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like I every two years. It was a little years. longer. Okay, but cool. Seven yeah, books on, every two years. On my side, I didn't watch the in, uh, Injustice uh, Justice League movie, but um, I watched um, Crisis on Earth. Oh, yeah, that's cool! Yeah, like the four show, that was right. pretty cool. You know, like the Supergirl, then it was Arrow, then Flash, then Legend yeah, of Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I actually watched the two by two every night. I was fucking good, man. It, 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 know, it, it was a good. I find that the I watched Supergirl, um, but it got me into maybe wanting to watch Arrow and Flash as well because I think right. their TV shows for DC it's good. I know it just those four well, episode thing as a whole it was fucking amazing. Like if you guys didn't see it, you should. I think watch they're it. they're uh, they're they're good in in a certain way. But not in the same way that the uh, Marvel Netflix TV shows are good. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. This. Like the Marvel Netflix shows are good from uh, just a, they're almost like a movie. Mm. It's like an HBO se season. Yeah. yeah. Whereas all of them though, right? I know I've uh, heard some of them. No, no. Sucks. Iron Fist sucked. Okay. That was just it was so okay. Bad. It was well, okay. It, uh, it was when you compare it <laughs> to the others, yeah. I find Iron Fist. Uh, Iron Fish. <laughs> uh, Iron Fist is more along the lines of, and I might get some criticism for this, but more along the lines in terms of the way the story was being pushed and progressed and everything like a dc show but should i should i invest <laughs> more time let's say watch flash and arrow or should i go something well, no, like if the you depends like it, what you yeah. like oh the yeah. punisher guaranteed punisher's you'll like a, it punisher's okay. amazing uh, so out of the netflix ones because i'm a big fan of them with the exception of iron fist which i forced myself to watch so i can just see what 
for the rest of the stories for the yeah. defenders. Luke Cage, Daredevil, both seasons because season two led into Punisher. Um, I like Jessica Jones. Iron Fist, I just didn't like. Defenders was a little weird for me. I liked it, but you know what it was with Defenders? It was like they only had four, eight episodes instead of like yeah, I feel the, like it could 12, have been. Yeah. yeah, so I felt like it was a little rushed, and I felt there was too much of this. Um, let's make this show funny. Yeah, you know, like yeah, okay, so we Marvel got, we got, the, that we got problem the four characters, that. and let's make them funny. But like, no, fuck, man. Daredevil wasn't funny. Jessica Jones definitely wasn't funny. Luke Cage wasn't funny. None of these shows were funny. Why are you taking these characters that were not funny and now putting them in Defenders and now they're being they're they're saying like cheesy mm. superhero it's, lines? It's the Guardians it's of the Galaxy thing when they made that I, funny. And I don't like Guardians I, of the Galaxy. I absolutely love the movie, but I can understand like because it was a different style stylistically yeah. and that. Actually, I'm really happy that that they did that because Marvel movies were starting to have the same tone and started kind of getting a little uh. And then it, it was able to open up the different types of tones for the series, for the movies. But Iron Fist had that no yucks, nothing, no, no comedy at all. And it was just slow. Am I watching the wrong thing, guys? You know, I'm no, watching watch uh, <laughs> Superman Returns, Supergirl, because I like the Superman and Superman uh, universe. Supergirl, I heard good things about. I like um, it. You know, it's good. Arrow, I know when I tried to watch, and I tried to watch Flash, and I, I think I got in like half of the first season. Okay. And I was watching just because I'm a DC, like I'm a Justice League fan, and I yeah. like Flash. But just watching it, I felt the acting and storyline. It was. I, I felt. You know what I felt like I was watching? Remove the superhero aspect of it. And it felt like I was watching, I don't know, Dawson's Creek or something. Oh, really? So yeah, like it, it felt like a teenage show. Like that's what it is. Oh, he likes a girl, and the girl doesn't like her. Now he feels sad, and it's like, man, what, what am I watching? Why am I give a shit about a high school? So student? it's not DC. Hmm. Show, they're DC shows, but they're not run. It's by, they're run by the network that it's put on. Yeah, well, yeah Marvel yeah. has a problem with like Mar Agents of Mar uh, of Shield with like uh, I can't remember. Is it either ABC or NBC? Or uh, it's whatever. ABC. Yeah. So with ABC, it has that same. It like, has its moments uh, of yeah. like, really, did they just do that? Because Agents of Shield is technically pretty good too, because it parallels the um, the whole universe, the whole universe, yeah. right? Yeah. So and there were there's there's episodes where it's like you watch this episode then you watch thor then you watch the next episode mm. it's cool but then but there's a lot of that filler i episodes. stopped i stopped watching the first season halfway through because i was like this is so second, fucking slow second mm. season is much better and third was good but then i stopped watching yeah. again because there's too many episodes and a lot of it is just like cheese lines and yeah yeah it's it so annoying it's not about watching the wrong thing you can watch them in parallel if you have the time mm. uh i, I I've always liked Marvel superheroes better, but I've always preferred DC's, at least Batman's uh, rogue gallery of, of villains. Mm. He's got very fucking interesting villains, whereas on the Marvel side, they're kind of lacking. You yeah, have, they are lacking yeah, villains on the Marvel Venom side. You have Venom and Carnage, which are two of my favorite villains ever, yeah. like anywhere. And then it kind of like steeply drops off for that for villains. Wait, uh, what do they have? Well, they have Magneto. But they that's not Mag in yeah, the yeah. same universe, well, really. Well, it's, it's X-Men. So X -Men. in the Marvel uh, Marvel villains, you have Magneto. Yeah. And then you, you have a few good ones. Yeah, you do, actually. Um, But they're not as many as just in one Batman. You have Riddler. You got a Penguin. You got Joker. You, you got so many in just one. Uh, Dark Side, yeah. Lex Luthor. Well, these are Superman. But yeah. Dark Side, Lex Luthor, Brainiac. Mm. Man, you can go a lot, actually. And even Bizarro Superman. That would yeah. be cool. I wonder if they'll ever do that well, in a uh, movie. They... In the Supergirl series, like there, it, it there's another girl from Krypton at one point that's just kind of a Bizarro. villain. So no, it's not Bizarro, but I mean she she's very cool. This is where it's at now. Right. Know, the last episode was a big fight between. That's what I love, man. Like I I watch that I show, man, and sometimes in the sky it makes me uh, remember of uh, Neo and Agent Smith when they're fighting the sky. I right. love that shit, man. Like that Supergirl, like when while well, the Crisis on Earth was four episodes, like the. The way it was made, man, it was really. It could have been a movie. It been a movie, you know. Probably. It, kinda, it was kind of my Avenger for the week, let's say, you know, because all the whole character were there too. I think these shows would be even better if they would be like on uh, on Netflix, Netflix or HBO yeah. or Showtime or one of these, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, I mean, I, I've heard good things about them, and like I've I've seen a bit of Legends of Tomorrow, and I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah. Uh, but like again, at the same time, it's like there's too many shows to watch and. You have to watch them in an order as well, because yeah. if you watch Arrow, then Flash. Because I remember watching. Supergirl, yeah, then they're not aligned. Then Flash appear, then 
an episode after the story continued, but fuck, I didn't watch Flash. So right. then I'm kind of, uh, what's going on there? You know? so, yeah. so I have to make sure the, I watch it in, in order. They're, they're doing a good job with it. I'm, uh, from what I understand, they're doing a good job. And it's kind of like also when you read their comics. But okay. anyway. Uh, I cool. think if Warner Brothers just went to Netflix for their shows, mm. especially since Marvel, uh, Disney's pulling out of Netflix, they, they, they could, Warner Brothers can go like, hey, Make some shows for us since you can't. You're not going to be making any more Marvel ones. I really like Marvel. Well, they probably will them. since they're they're spent. They spent money on creating them, but nothing new after because that. Because Marvel's big on Netflix. Even uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Two is it came out. On yeah, Netflix those those, already, those no? are being pulled out. Yeah, oh, the, really? yeah, all the movies are yeah. being pulled out. But I'm really? wondering okay. about the shows. The shows because like Netflix spent money to develop them. They probably will, but they, I don't know if they'll be able to make any either any more seasons or any more shows. Is at Disney all. Uh, Disney just uh, they they're making their, their own, own network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and makes sense. Honestly. That that is probably the the first real contender to Netflix mm. because Disney owns Star Wars, mm. they own Marvel, they own all their own stuff. There, that like Netflix, that that Disney Netflix type of thing would mm. be really cool to see. Oh, like, yeah, watch sure, any man. movie you like. Yeah, all the Star Wars, anything. It'd be crazy. I think if Warner Brothers went to Netflix, you'd have some really good shows. Mm. And it could be, even their 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 side characters. So Punisher is historically it's been a popular character, but not like the other ones. Like me and John will love Punisher mm. and it's for his violence and stuff like that. Fucking violent. And this is one, the show they, violent too. Like, oh yeah, like I have to watch that. It's yeah, really so super violent. <laughs> it is ultra violent. It's awesome. And even stuff like Deadpool. Deadpool people wanted to make Deadpool for years, mm. and it took it, it it took people Fox being like. Okay, yeah, 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 fine. People want to make it, but like, do it with this amount of money and make it great, like it super amazing. fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah. You could do stuff like that without having like. If Warner Brothers just looked at like, all right, we have Deadpool here, and you got Marvel here at the other end. How can we take that Deadpool um, like super low budget stuff and then put it into like super high budget? And it's mm. just about the story. Mm. Like, they really like Punisher was ultra violent, but there was also why he was doing it. There was the actors portraying them. Those things were meant a lot, yeah. like, and to an extent, going back to Justice League, I really liked Ben Affleck before this one. I was like, oh, yeah, because I enjoy him as Batman. Yeah, and Justice he's he's not gonna be Batman anymore. Well, yeah. This is a speculation, but for that one, for the last one, the Justice League one, I was like, this isn't, dude. You were cool before. Why? Like, like why you didn't play it well? Like what? I, thought I still was, liked him in this uh, one. He, the I, only I, thing I, I didn't like was his stupid cheesy lines, yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna. Well, I shouldn't say it. There's no, lines certain lines that I was like, man, you weren't cheesy before. Why are you being cheesy and now? To see Batman almost have fear, I was like, come on, man. Mm. Like, He's the man with yeah, no fear. Don't give him it. fear. Like, it doesn't make you, sense. He doing? strikes fear in other people. <laughs> not uh, anyways. That, yeah, Tell so me about only, that Superman uh, only mustache. Scarecrow. Is All it really Superman noticeable? Mustache? Apparently, okay, so it's uh, apparently it's very noticeable. I got I, okay. So I I heard about this before, but I thought it was for a different movie. Okay. And while I was watching it, I, I didn't even think about a mustache. Me neither. But I kept looking at his teeth. I was like, why the fuck do his top teeth look like that? I was so drawn. I was like, what's wrong with his teeth? Hmm. And then I was like, there's got to be something going on there. Afterwards, I, re I found out that it was in the Justice League. That was it. Hmm. Them trying to fuck, like the, the upper lip thing here with his mustache was making his teeth stand out a bit more because they were having to fix every fucking frame. Wow. So I was like, oh, I totally noticed it, just not in the way everyone else thought w w thought I would. I didn't notice it until after it was pointed out. So I only after the movie. And I, I don't know, maybe it's because I saw it in 3D and 3D. I no, I saw it in 3D too. Yeah. But it, like I said, like I said, it was his, it was more his teeth that looked unnatural because of his upper lip always being moved around <laughs> by digital effects. And what's crazy is. Um, Warner Brothers offered to do the um, the special effects for the uh, that that movie uh, that what was it Mission Impossible movie that he was doing because it's far easier to put a mustache on somebody in a movie than to remove it. Wow! Uh, they, they and they actually said offered no. Wow. Yeah, they said we'll do it for free. It's much easier and it looks it looks real compared to taking one off. And you know what? I'll boycott Mission Impossible just for they're that. They're probably gonna like Mission Impossible. Is, I'm probably not gonna watch it either. Like. It's, it's like for real guys you're gonna be petty like that like it's a fucking mustache give him two weeks yeah no but <laughs> <laughs> mission impossible do people still care about that i mean it's there was doing a better there like, was a time where that that was like cool to watch and now it's like eh. after the fourth one i started picking up again because they went like big big set scenes and and like i enjoy those movies they're cool they're just, all right i think tom cruise is getting too old to be mm. doing mission impossible missions 
Is that guy still into Scientology? Oh, yeah. He's he like is? one of the high grandmasters or whatever oh, they what call it. Fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And it's funny how many people, <laughs> actors in Hollywood are Scientologists. It makes no sense. Like, dude, the, the more the more things are coming out about, like, let's say, the, like whether it's pedophilia or uh, just the, the uh, sexual assault accusations, yeah. the more I'm seeing how fucked up Hollywood is. And, like, I remember, like... A few years ago, someone saying, a few years ago, this is like 10 years ago, at least, oh, actors are fucked up. And I never gave it much thought until he said that. And I started seeing that. And then, like, now, I don't know what he knew or if he was just saying it like that. Uh, he was a smart individual. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> the way I said that. Uh, but uh, he, but yeah, you just see what's going on. And to, like, what you just said and, like, you know, like, Scientology and it's, everything it's, like, it's it's one weird universe not you it's like a different universe yeah well to an extent like different planet when people said Hollywood's fucked up I I, I didn't think of it like I kind of knew that because being in the music scene and touring you 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 see the same things you see mm. guys taking a little bit to, like going a little okay. crossing the line a little bit more than but they you know, here's should, the you difference know? between music and movies okay no one Okay, it's it's the girl. The, in, this is in general. Yeah, it's kind of known, rock and roll and sex. Okay, and in the sense that like, the girl is not looking for a job. She's not, um, you know, she has to go through to get backstage to sleep with them. Okay, it's well, different. Oh yeah, it's no, way no, different. I'm not, I'm not it's way that. different. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about. Uh, so I toured with an all-girl band on the same bus as us. So it was like uh, twelve guys, six, four girls, and hearing them talk about like they they just want to be treated like regular people. It's like yeah. you go into your interviews. They're always asking about like what's it like being a girl band. It's like, oh right, like, those yeah. type of things. And then like even having issues with like they took them forever to get signed because they're like oh well these girls are the, the, they're gonna get pregnant in a couple of years and they won't be able to tour and then mm -hmm. 10 years down the line all done look they're too old um they, they they got signed to a label and everything but the stuff that they had to go through it, there was a lot of that type of me too uh hollywood uh, men taking advantage because they're girls in that because it's a guy's world type of thing. Okay, yeah. so you mean from the band's perspective? From the band's perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a reference like think to groupies. I think, right, right, yeah. 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 So thinking more like think that. Of, think of uh, actresses as the all-girl band. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, except that there are, there are, there's a lot more actresses than there are girl bands. Exactly, yeah. and it's even it's even worse for them, especially since like they actually, like I accidentally walked in on one of them changing and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Actually, they were kind of like, why? why? What, treat me like a guy. Like, but why? Like, if I if I saw a guy putting like his pants on, I'd be like, "Oh, right, yo, dude, I'm sorry, my bad, bro." And she was like, "But really?" Like, but yes. you see, it, it's they it's wanted... interesting that because the, the the times that we're in right now also is uh, there, there's more awareness to to this stuff. Yeah. And you still, as a guy, you see, like you walked in on them. Now, one of two situations could have happened. She could have been super offended mm -hmm. that you saw her. But then you have other girls that just don't care and like, yeah, treat me like a guy. Yeah, so there, there is you, that. You, you, and and, and th the worst part is, is that now this might sound stupid, but this is actually going on. If the girl was that upset that you saw her um, that, that changing. You know, changing, she can actually say that she was sexually assaulted oh, just yeah. because of that. So it's like you, you have to be like, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Until you know that that girl is like, no, dude, it's, you don't treat me like a guy. Well, honestly, it's different. I mean, if I was to walk into a girl's bathroom and I saw a girl changing, that's a different story than we were, all, we were sharing a fucking bus and we had nowhere else to change. <laughs> that, I just I went to where my bunk was and I opened right. the door and she was changing. I was like, oh, my bad. Um, she like she was very cool. She's just like I. I'm tired of being treated like a different person, like a, like a girl. Just treat me like you would the other guys on the bus. I'd be like, well, honestly, if, if he was pulling a whack, I wouldn't just stand there and watch him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and she she understood that, but it was it was definitely it, it was it wasn't what you expected from girls who were like, no, I like you have to like have have that respect. I I understand that too, mm. but for her, it was stop treating me like I'm a different form of human. That which I, I was like I never right. I never thought of that like that but I know that this the shit that they went through with like managers and labels mm. and just getting festival stuff it, they were always put in like the worst areas and stuff like, and things like that just because they were like a, an all girl band it took them it, they 
they had to do twice as much work to get half as much respect. And most nights, well, almost every night, they were the best band on that tour. And the only thing that they were talking about was how hot they were on stage. Mm. So mm. I, I totally get from that perspective. It's very similar. Obviously, we're all very respectful guys. We weren't going to be like imposing ourselves in them. Mm. And it actually was kind of the reverse. But <laughs> <laughs> really? It's kind of the opposite. Yeah, you, you, I've told you these stories. Mm. Um, but I, I it, it is very similar when it's a very male-dominated like top end industry, mm. you'll 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 see those across the board. Hollywood is just the one that everyone knows, and you. It, it took how long for this stuff mm. to like? Hey, it's just like every other industry, except this has been kept a fucking secret. That mm. that's basically what it is. You go anywhere, uh, it, it's it's always a problem. It, it's just Hollywood mm. now is coming out in the media. It's it, obviously I'm I'm kind of glad, but at the same time, I think people are jumping. To two, uh, at a, a conclusion too fucking quickly with um, an accusation being taken as the absolute guilt. What, like Obviously, you got to take an accusation seriously, but you can't condemn somebody just because someone accuses them of something. Yeah, they put also card back on Netflix, right? Yeah, well, without Kevin without Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Oh, okay, really? So yeah. they what do they do? They uh, redid the scene? No or? Well, no I, think, I think maybe uh, it's for the next season, but apparently in the books, he's, that, that character is dead for the last book, so okay. they can just go with that. Yeah, because I saw that yet. I was like, hmm, that was not too long, you know? But, okay, but like, he's out. when someone someone is getting, get, gets accused and yeah. they, they deny their, their any guilt, there should be a process before someone ha like is is like let go of something. Yeah, of course. Because just an accusation doesn't mean he's guilty. It you know? doesn't mean he's guilty. And I'm not right. saying that all the girls are lying, but you can't just like you can't expect us to go against what we're, like our own laws by saying, oh no, he's definitely guilty, uh, guilty before proven innocent. Yeah, no, exactly. we're innocent until proven guilty. You have an accusation, let's prove it, and yeah. we'll take we'll take it the correct way like we're not saying that you're wrong and you did anything it's like all right there's an accusation do you have proof with that mm. you know you know uh because this kind of makes me think of what happened uh thursday and yesterday um so so thursday we had um three porn stars at yeah where i work uh so madison ivy is one of them now madison ivy um apparently is lesbian off camera Okay. So she she digs chicks. Now the thing is, she was like you. She was in the office. I saw some photos. And and there were photos, you know. And she would grab girls' boobs and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, so how do you feel now that Madison Ivy grabbed your tits? <laughs> you know. And she was like, oh whatever. And I'm like, you know, she's a lesbian, right? She's like, then then like she's like, hmm. That kind of <laughs> changes things a bit because it's. it's and I'm like, yeah, what if it was a dude? You would obviously be upset no yeah. matter what right off the bat. She's like, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then now to fast forward to yeah, last night, nothing to do with the porn stars at this point, but something similar happened. I see I was walking to my table and I, this is like later on in the night after people have been drinking and there were two girls, they seemed like bothered and they were, they seemed like something and they stopped me and they're like, do you know who that is? And I'm like, I think so and so's name is that. And they're like because she just grabbed, stuck her hand up my skirt, you know. <laughs> and and I, and I'm like, so I'm I'm looking at her. I'm like, I'm guessing you you, you want to report this. She's like, absolutely. Mm. I'm like, okay, you know. And I continued on my way back to the table and like thinking about it. I'm like, it's a girl reporting another girl, which is, usually you don't see that yeah. happen. Uh, but but it, it it's interesting because it's the the girl that did that was is a porn star, right? No, this is different. Oh, That's different. why I'm saying. Okay, it, yeah. but it's just that th th both these incidents happen like one day apart, hmm. you know, and same company kind of thing. It, but yeah, it's particular because it's the porn it's, star. It's, it's like you, you. It's oh, it's okay. It's a porn star. That's what they do. Yeah, but or, but then this was not okay. I don't know, man. If I was a hairdresser, I wouldn't be cutting hair around. Oh, it's okay as a hairdresser, you know. Like you still have to keep your distance. I guess, I guess but I know? think I think it's their. Um, their their but image yeah 100%. i think it's there for their image you know that like I this guess, what they know? do for social media and all that you know just the the, the absurd well, there's still shit gotta be post. a fucking form of consent if there's a gay porn star and inside like i'm gonna suck your dick for a photo i'll be like no yeah what the exactly. hell's the matter with you <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he's right though you know there's gotta be consent there i mean fuck what what if he just grabbed your dick and just no, walked I, off i wouldn't be fine with that i don't i don't care i i would just be like well you must have 
Dude, thought I was good looking enough for him to grab a, my dick. There's a guy I don't know, regardless, and he's straight or yeah. gay, and he just comes up and grabs my dick. You're like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Hey, Armin and I shower together, all I right? Know, but you guys are very close. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I have the same problem with just girls coming out of nowhere and grabbing my hair and stuff like that. Oh, and, yeah. for, and for those that are listening to us or even watching, I have a suit on, and it's because I was at the party yesterday, and I came home <laughs> like this morning. And uh, yeah, so now I'm sitting with you peasants. Did you sleep peasants. in between or? I gotta bring something up. Dude, I went to bed at five. <laughs> Amazing. Fuck, I, I gotta bring up something. Five. So we've had this discussion about Quebec drivers before, right? And it's been. Which, uh, yeah, re refresh my memory. Okay, so that uh, like everyone says that Quebec drivers are some of the worst. In the oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay, so uh, it was mentioned that I was in the UK and Poland last week mm. for, uh, for work. Um, and I was, Pol I was in Poland and I've been in their cars with taxi drivers and this isn't just taxi drivers that is definitely if you call any quebec driver the one of the worst in the world you are an untraveled fucking heathen because that was fucking scary in poland <laughs> what happened so but wait. they go full speed right before stopping when someone's actually making a turn doing the exact same thing wait, wait what okay so somebody is turning so we're in this car right this is an intersection, right? right? We're, go we're going, and this guy isn't stopping. He's just going, crossing the line when there's traffic all the way up to here. There's, there's tons of traffic. I see this guy turning. He's doing the same thing. No fucking stopping until he has to, and then these, the, this guy does that. It's always, oh my God. Always like uh, stopping short. Very sort stopping of. short, and they, mm -hmm. they can see. It's all very clear, and they, the way but that they cut and everything. Here's the thing. Does it make them bad drivers, or... If everybody is driving this way and they're that aggressive, then they're used to this and that maybe doesn't make, they, that, they might actually be better drivers than us here. Because over here, we have aggressive drivers, but we have too many passive drivers. I agree. And I think that's where the okay, main so, issue is. So the bad driving part was, I, we were all uncomfortable in that car. Yeah, we're not but you're not used to it. No, it, it isn't even about you being used to it. I've been in situations where stuff like that, but it's the problem with doing it like that is you don't know what could happen in that event. This guy might decide to not stop or or, or stop short, and then he's gonna clip him. Mm. That was the that was yeah. the issue that I was like taking, and it wasn't just that. That was just the, the one that I was like, I really don't want to fucking be in this car. Well, how can everyone be of that same like thought? Like you just. There's no no regard for stopping or stopping in time. There's there's being a jackass, which we do have here in Quebec. There's being passive, which people are just like ah. But well, there's also putting people <laughs> like shaking when we're taking turns yeah. and stuff. Well, like I here. understand what he's saying though, because if everyone is driving like this, I can I think it minimizes the risk versus that if you have yeah. aggressive and passive and people are you just, you know, know, just fucking assholes. If everyone's too, running like scissors, it doesn't doesn't minimize the risk like, of you stabbing uh, yourself if you fall. Because Jess was was from Laval, right and when she moved to the city she was like I, at first she would get honked at a lot honked at and almost cause accidents or whatever and she was hated driving in montreal and then after once she lived here and got used to it she never got honked at again never got you know like whatever and she became the aggressive driver so like it makes me wonder that, that that's why I was trying to argue okay, this the, point. Like yeah. and maybe you are right. Maybe they are shitty yeah. drivers in Poland. I'm just saying maybe it, it it's shitty when it looks like that to us. But I think and I think the biggest problem in Quebec is not just the uh, the uh, aggressive drivers and non-aggressive drivers. I also think it's the way our roads are designed. This is Sometimes it's like you have only like. Two inches to fucking merge onto a lane doesn't make sense. I, I, Most so cities, yeah, you go to other cities, you have a fucking kilometer before so you can I agree fucking. with that, but I've driven in a lot of different places across on North America. I've, I've driven pretty much everywhere in the States, uh, Toronto, uh, Ottawa, anywhere between here and Toronto I've driven. And the drivers are basically the same. I don't give a flying... If everyone... New York is different. New York is different, but New York is the one where I'll, I'll use as an argument for Poland. New York has some aggressive fucking drivers, but they don't pull the shit that they were. I was seeing in Poland. Mm. I wasn't afraid to be in a car in New York. I was legitimately like... What the fuck are you doing? Who taught you how to fuck? Like, who taught you how to do this? This isn't at all. Like, you're, you're only you're giving yourself no room for error here. Uh, um, and uh, anyone who comes here or is from here and they say that they're shitty drivers, I will automatically call them. You're an untraveled individual, and I believe that you're a shitty driver. How are they in uh, in England? England, basically the same thing, except everything's. But reversed. wait, Vin, you cannot okay. say because some people say that that never went there means that. 
our driver are no, good no. now. We're still overall. I think every, every time I go in Montreal, situation change. Everyone's more stressed. I still believe there's a lot of bad driver. I there, mean, I'm not saying that there aren't bad not, drivers. Maybe compared to them, well, what I'm maybe we just don't look as bad. Everyone's saying bad, that we're the worst. We're the worst, oh, no, the worst that, in the world. Okay, that's well, fine, get the man. fuck okay, out of here, okay, because okay, okay. honestly, the people who say that are the people I've seen drive, and I like you have absolutely no skill. You mm. you can't think ahead. Those things are the problem. Like, oh, they're just shitty drivers. I know. No, you don't. Mm. I've I, I've. I've, honestly, it's anecdotal, but I've I've driven in different places in North America. Yeah, I didn't drive in Poland. But I also didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to okay, drive in England. It. I didn't get an opportunity to. I drove everywhere else. I didn't want to drive in Poland because mm. I was like, I, it's a completely different fucking world there. Mm. I don't know how anyone learns how to drive with with the way that they do. Maybe they don't. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe it's just like you're old enough to if drive. There's, if there's an argument, get in the car. If there's an uh, an argument for automation that you can make to me. Poland is the best <laughs> one. <laughs> and it probably isn't just a, an issue with Poland either. Well, uh, I've seen there's a there's a, tra a traffic video of uh, India where you see like it doesn't make sense. The, the cars are just like merging. Yeah, I don't know, no yeah. One, I don't, I'm sure you guys have seen this video. Yeah. And people are crossing the street, bikes, motorcycles. Manila, Manila is the same thing. I think it was, yeah, yeah, Manila too, yeah. And it's like, whoa, how do they not, how did nobody crash in that 30 second video? Because there's like so many cars, they're just coming. But they and have, some of those some of those countries have highest like mortality rates. But that's for, the thing, if accidents. these guys, if someone, as is hesitation, this is where accents gonna happen. The Probably. same thing, like in Europe, what's that 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 uh, the Autobahn? Oh, the yeah, Autobahn. This, you know, if someone goes slow, this is where you're gonna create accident. Like no, if you hesitate, you're fucked. Well, that's the, the thing. The, everyone who doesn't want to go those speeds because it's known this is no speed limit, and everyone goes really super fast. You mm. get into that fucking middle lane. Mm. It was it actually mm. separates the people who p passive and aggressive, mm. and actually per capita, Germany has a far less act uh, per capita. Germany has less accidents than Canada or the U.S. Oh, I believe that, uh, mm -hmm. and that's and there's a lot. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of accidents on the autobahn, mm. but for the amount of people they have in their country, there's far less than like the, the states and Canada. Yeah, when you see how, like how many I have to go once in my life. When you see what the the population of these countries are, and you look at where we live, we are so small as a country. Like we're like population population wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even even like the U.S., they might be 300 million, but like the amount of space they have. Like man, that's mm. yeah. That, if you look at China, who has a billion in the space, of, well, actually, China has really big stuff, but, but it's, it's look, all in concentration. Look how in small areas. Germany is. Look how small Italy is. Look how small all these countries are, and look at how many like like the population yeah, is. Yeah, you yeah. know, it, it's it's nuts. And One we, thing I have to say though, like I was watching people walk in England, just like going to work, and I was like, there's something different. There's a different beat. There's a different rhythm. And I couldn't put my finger on it because I, I was like, wow, this is like a movie. It's like watching people walk to work. It was like, but I, I walk to work. I see people walk to work in Montreal all the time. There's a, there was, there's the difference though. I was like, it's like they're walking with a purpose. And one of the guys there says, we don't like to be in back of somebody. We always have to be walking in front of somebody. And that's what everyone's trying to do at the same time. Oh, so really? Yeah. Wow. So I was like, that's it. It's people in England don't like walking behind anybody they always have to be walking in That's front of me. somebody me? i hate walking behind. imagine oh. if everyone did that though oh my god <laughs> it's when i went to uh to uh, japan you know in the street they respect those signs like people that walks like if it's a red light and there's no car everybody stop big crowd will Part stop culture, you know yeah. me and my dad i remember like i was like I'm just gonna fucking cross the street, you know. <laughs> but it just shows different mentality. Yeah, yeah. Them, if it's not ready for them, even if there's nothing happening, they're just still gonna wait. Well, Armin likes forget to say about this here, when man. we wait at a red light and there's no cars coming in the states. He's like, you see, we've been conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being so nice. Uh, I, I, we've been conditioned. I think I, I do that. I don't wait for a, a red light here if there's no cars coming. I'll just cross. I think it was more like I'm in another country. I'll have some respect for them yeah. or something. Right. <laughs> but the, there was. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, well, in um, in in Japan, apparently, even like when they they go see a show or wrestling or anything, they just sit there quietly yeah. and like uh, 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 let's say it's wrestling a good like they see something exciting over here. We'll be like ah or holy shit whatever. Them they're just like 
Yeah, they're the very, they very just clap. Way, yeah. The you parking know? there were so fucking awesome because you know there's no space, the, the, right? The, the levels. It's level, but yeah. it's a lot. It's underground. It's like an elevator. You yeah. Fucking put. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. put your car in. Like, it's like an what the fuck, the man? They, I and saw that a, in New York too. They're so like the cars no, are so though. much mm. like uh, thinner as well. Like everything is more like smaller. Mm. But those elevator parking, this is so cool, man. Yeah, like, it was fucking expensive though. And imagine if that elevator goes out and you want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> and you're fucked, man. Yeah, but it was it was, it was impressive. It, it was a long time ago I went, but uh, even to that day, the way things are, you know, it makes more sense than some of the things here. You know, like just those parking. We should. Have, I mean, I guess it's got to be super complicated to implement. You know, because it's, it's, it's very expensive. Yeah. It's very very like uh, if it's gonna happen. But eventually. they have no choice because there is no space. They, yeah. every top oh, of a building, oh, well, there's something there, man. Well, like, you have you seen so many golf thing or whatever on top of a building because they have no place. Well, to do with those with, things, uh, you know? with self driving cars, uh, like basically parking is gonna be extinct. Cars won't like you, they can drive you to work and then they can drive themselves back home. Uh, Holy you, shit! Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I mean, either uh, <laughs> parking in cities, it'll be like basically uh, once bef right before they they make it illegal to drive your own car, which I think is. Like, well, is I've already that, made my is point. Is that about what they're that. gonna do? Like once you're at work, it's gonna drive back home. Why wouldn't it? Why would it just park there? You know, well, why would you create more traffic on the road? I don't know. Like I never thought of it. There's like, no if all cars are self-driving, even if you have people driving it interspersonally or whatever. Yeah, they they don't have to traffic. go a speed limit. Well, mm -hmm. remember, there, there's a video that we spoke about once mm -hmm. that explains how traffic happens, and it's like phantom yeah, yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. And and this is why I hate when people go 40 on a highway because then you create that accordion thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's and, and shitty. Ever since that video, I've been looking at cars or trucks, and whatever I do, whatever they do, I always see them 20 minutes later. You know, like yeah. at the same level. And 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 so like if you if think about it, if all the cars are self driving and they're communicating with each other. There will never be traffic. It's yeah. always going to be flowing. Yeah, it'll always yeah. no matter how many there are. So traffic basically happens because of the amount of people on the road. And they've done this with a big. I think I've explained this, but a big fucking circle of Japan. They were they wanted to test the first round. They wanted to test the traffic, see what causes it. They put like eight cars in a big fucking circle, and they all started driving at the same time. And then one guy went a little too quick, so he had to he had to break, which caused a chain reaction. And eventually, some cars in this circle, where there's only eight cars, were just fully stopped, waiting for the car ahead of them to go. That's how traffic happens. That's what that's what starts mm -hmm. that accordion effect. Um, people going a little too quickly or not realizing, and they have to put their brakes on. Mm -hmm. um, that's what causes an accordion effect. And basically, the way to get out of that is. If, someone decides I'm going a really one speed the entire way, even mm -hmm. if there's like 18 car links, well, at 18 car links, you could definitely speed up, but mm -hmm. uh, you you definitely want to keep that same speed so that the rest of the traffic doesn't have that accordion anymore. Mm -hmm. But it's you doing that thing. In, in theory, if you want to stop, it's like you have to tell everybody behind you, yeah, you guys, can. I'm going to stop in three, two, <laughs> one, and everybody, you know, and just yeah, stops yeah. at the same time and goes at the same speed. On, but, and honestly, like, it's really fucked we, up. But we, I'm not sure if I want self-driven car to be no people inside just driving. What if something wrong happened with that car or I don't know. It's, yeah. So I've tried making this like, point before to a lot of people and they're yeah. like, It'll, nothing will ever go wrong. A lot of the things is like, yeah, a lot's going to go wrong. Well, man. they they say like, like, you don't understand like the amount of things that'll go wrong is like in a one in a billion. But I, but I, I do understand. I know that things will go wrong mm -hmm. because stuff has gone wrong with planes before and anything, anything of a great value with that requires a lot of information stuff is going to happen. Mm -hmm. It just won't be on a great scale. It won't like one car mal mal malfunctions, the other ones can take over it. I understand that, mm. but it doesn't like it's. I still don't think like ma making me not be able to like if the, if these self driving cars are so amazing, they should be able to account for me driving my car because I don't want to. I don't want to get in a self driving car. Mm. I don't want something that's programmed by another human who didn't take into account some several variables or like the information got messed up. It crashes. But what you're if, gonna have to. Eventually. Yeah, but we said that in, in, in before. Right? I mean, me, I'm forty. If they're all self driven, you know, like or else it's gonna be. But too, if it's like, if it's that up. good, you, it, those cars should be able to account for another. Yeah, one. but then if if they're that good, the one driving the cars becomes the exception of all those rules of these accidents could be happening. Dude, no, by, no, why would it cause an accident? By 2040, well, you're gonna be in a self driving car no matter what. No, no, I'm it's going to be walking. Yeah, that, <laughs> most likely. Yeah. Oh well, I meant. I meant. I meant. Everybody is going to be in a. Oh no, no I know that. I know it's inevitable, but I just want people to understand that that your phone crashes. Your phone isn't taking as much information as. So if you're going to be walking everywhere, then that means you're going to have to live in the city. Yeah. Totally. Because didn't you say you wanted to go back to like Brasar go back to, yes, or something? Yes, like but if I if I don't have a car or I'll, I'll take a train into the city, hmm. you could do that. We'll have that light rail. I'll do that. 
because it's one one fucking thing. You don't need to account for everything else. That, if that's automated, fine. If they want to automate the metros, it's all, it's only one yeah, track. Yeah, yeah. But being able to turn, huh. being able to, hey, who's gonna program the car when it hits black ice? <laughs> Me, because <laughs> we still don't have a set way of being able to pull yeah. out of black ice correctly. So who's gonna program that? That's what I'm wondering. It's not just when everything is fine and dandy and it's rainbows and the sun is out. It's when there's crazy fucking weather, when a sensor fails, what happens with that? Mm. And it's not being taken into account. That was my, my thing. Okay. No, and I, I agree with this, man. There's, no, I think we're far from there, man. I think well, Uber, it's Uber and Lyft are already pushing out. That, I think. Well, Uber and, I and think it's farther than that, dude. That's no, no, like, it's not. Like, it's probably 10, 15 years at the most. Yeah. I think so. Uber and Lyft are already yeah. pu everybody putting out cars. a self-driven car 20 years? Well, maybe not everybody. Come on. 20 years ago, did you think did you think that you were going to be able to take video with your phone? Did you think you were going to be able to have internet yeah, on your phone? Yeah, but everything we need to change, like the in take infrastructure of so not the roads a, would have to change, Okay, man. you know what? He's right. It, it won't be everybody because we still can't get service in, in, in like the, the country or whatever. Hmm. We go, we, in the big cities, sure, but self-driving cars will need service in like, I don't know, uh, Shikutsumi or whatever, where there's right. not as many towers. That in 20 years is not going to change. That's a big infrastructure change that's going to happen over 50. Same like cell phones. We, we can't go to a mountain and get service. And we all have cell phones. Then there's no reason to put them there. For cars, they need those services. Like, mm -hmm. And people in the country will, be, will, will not have self-driving cars. They will have cars that they drive. So, But let's say in America, like 20 years ago. No, even America has the same problem. You can't go everywhere in the States and get yeah, service. Yeah, so they would be like, so to enter an area, these you have to rent a car that's self-driven like and you can get there and then and from even there to an extent, even in the city if you go up university or rob up barasa yeah. with a gps you lose signal for mm -hmm. the gps imagine a self-driving car losing signal. Yeah, you get into a fucking tunnel it takes a few seconds before it hits back the gps you know? does yeah exactly mm -hmm. there, there are things that you can account for but not everything and in big like in the cities sure you can accommodate but in the big ones in 20 years no um maybe maybe 30, 40 years for everybody across mm. the board in, in these two countries, sure. But they won't, they won't be able to outlaw mm. driving just yet because of those people. That's, it's literally putting a, um, like a cutoff. Like, no, you can't survive now. Mm. You have to be able to like, sur uh, depend on other people to get you stuff. So, yeah. yeah. yeah there, are, there are other variables that no one's taking account of other than like, oh, it's going to be convenient and I can do whatever the hell I want in my car. I can, I can drive. You could play your switch in you your car. Play, you, I could do all this work that nobody does because we're the most productive we've ever been and nobody does any other work that they've wanted to do. <laughs> Think about it. We have more free time than any other time to do whatever the fuck we want. And what do we choose to do? Do nothing. <laughs> But it's true. Like people that goes to work and that takes train, sometimes they work before getting to work. So I understand that part. Yeah. It could be convenient for But that. We've had that. We've, we can do that on yeah, exactly. trains. Yeah. We, like what is the car going to change for that? Like mm. it, a lot of people are saying I could be way more productive if I didn't have to drive. I know you wouldn't. You'd just be staring, scrolling on your phone. I see them do that on yeah. the Metro. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I do in my car is that I, have not, I know there's I have some phone calls to do. I try to make them like some of them when I get to work and uh, be getting to work and yeah. leaving work. But yeah, you're right, man. If I know I would be in my car an hour and a half, don't think I'm gonna have my laptop and be working for an no, hour and a half. And I know at one point- And that, that is gonna... actually a, a point people have for brought sure. up as an argument. It's like, will, will companies be expecting employees to be working in their cars on their way to work on the way home? Uh, because they'll be able to monitor that. Mm. Um, so uh, it's just things that are people aren't taking account other than like, oh, I don't have to do anything. I can, the car will just take me. I can, I can do so much productivity. Like, oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to bring my fucking guitar in a self-driving car and start <laughs> practicing there for half an hour? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. You guys aren't going to do that. You're going to be stuck on your phones like you do yeah, you are at home. Everyone who wants it, you're going to be on your phone like you are at home, like you are in bed, like you are on the couch, like you are in the metro, like you are when someone else drives you. You're not going to be more productive because someone else could drive you. You're not doing work. Mm. It's the same fucking thing, except that's a computer and doing it. Even if uh, like I have a laptop, I tried that before when Rosie was driving. Okay, I need to do a few words like on my laptop because it moves. <laughs> it give, I can't it, read anything. It doesn't feel good. You know, kind of... A headache kind of you know and, that so it's yeah it's and, and it's an argument i get thing. from people can't, can't is like oh they'll be able to fix that they haven't over the last hundred <laughs> years they're gonna fix it in the next 10. yeah well. that's i always get it'll be able to do that it'll be able to no you can't account for what it could do it has to be accounted for now mm. anyway Sample, i think i think that's the end of my rant that's the end of your rant my, my rant do you have any other final confessions who said it's final 
Oh, I thought Final we confession. I guarantee you, I see uh, Justice League tonight. What do you think? You think he's going to see Justice League tonight? I think he's going to do that just to spite us. I, I really th- want to see that movie. I know you really do, but I also think there's a ten percent chance you're going to get home. You're going to sit down and be like, I can't fucking do this. Hmm. The Montaigne, the yes. dog. No, no, I have a theater in right next door, and they play it in English, which is a big thing because most movies are in French. French, yeah. But no, I'll go. Man. I'll go so we can talk about it uh, anytime you guys want. I'll call you tonight and talk about it. Let's chat. Sounds good. No, we'll have a, we'll have a Facebook messenger. I'm actually tired. You know, if you guys didn't come over, I would have went to bed. I I would still probably yeah. be in bed myself. Yeah, me like, too, man. Yeah. Like when I work Saturdays, usually I go home and I go to bed for a little. Motherfucker. I had some crazy jet lag this week, but I'm good now. Yeah, when did you get back again? I got back last last Friday. Last Friday? Like what time? Like at night kind of thing? Got back at three in the afternoon. Which was what time for you? Eight o'clock, nine o'clock there. All right. And okay. I stayed up because I had my, uh, my Christmas party. Mm. So all week I was going to bed on time. But like, well, I went to bed at like 11, got like so much sleep, but I was still like, I got up, but I couldn't stay awake past 11. Last, I tried to because like last night I wanted, I wanted to go out and not be in bed by 11, which is great, but... I, got, I just like to have some fun. Last night was great. Now I'm back. I'm cool. I'm well rested. Hmm. Final confession, John. John. Final confessions. Um, we talked a lot about comic books, superheroes, TV did. shows. I really like that. People usually put like a tissue or something there. You have an iPhone wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fucking amazing, there man. That's go. a new style, man. A little you know rainbow. What? My my final confession has nothing to do with what we spoke about, okay. but it has to do with this wire. I can't wait for the next time. I my next cell phone that I'm buying, I'm making sure it's going to have wireless charging. There's nothing that so I it's either hate. the eight or the ten. So you're good. Yeah, you're good. My, if you're whatever going it's going to be, yeah. but it's going to be probably like uh, it's I don't know, probably the ten S when that comes out or something. So Apple's wireless charging is probably one of the worst for modern day ones. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a little slower, and their thing is expensive. But you, because you, you still but have you to do buy it that. overnight, it doesn't matter. That, that my, is, uh, my main issue is that it's it's you have this wire, right? And yeah, you could say you could get that's another thing. The old phones, the old phones had fucking long ass wires, and the phones were small. Now we get big phones and small fucking wires. <laughs> and, you know the thing I hate about iPhone? Like I did a video on this, but it's wait, you hate iPhone. Not that I hate about iPhone. <laughs> yeah, I it's, I, if I could buy a jet black phone, they still fucking give me white head, headphones, man. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Give yeah, me a that fucking doesn't make black sense iPhone. Either. I should have a black wire. Like, come on, man. Like that little fucking penis they give you to connect your regular headphones. It's white. It's fucking ugly, man. Come on, man. Samsung gave me the color for my, my, for my yeah, phone. Yeah, exactly. Match the phone. fucking color of the phone, man. I have a white headphone. doesn't make sense to me. Some can argue and say that it's... Um, what is their brand? It's, yeah, it's a brand thing. Oh, so that and it's when cheaper you see, to make one when color. You, yeah, but when you see someone Come walking on, in the street or you know on public transportation, you know you see that and you're like, oh, that person has an Apple product. That's why they put the notch in there so you they can able to market it. The mark, the notch is nothing else than just like, oh, but now you know it's an iPhone. <laughs> 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 that's exactly really. It. Uh, yeah, yeah, wow. that's the only reason to put it. Um, like branding is everything. Yeah. Did you know that that like Amazon? Their their brand is worth more than their profits, meaning that they they're always in the red. They are always in the yeah. red. Same thing with Netflix. Netflix is in the red, but their brand is so strong that. But I don't understand how that works. Huh. I don't understand that. Like, so it's confidence. It's confidence in the stock. So it's like so it's like yeah. stocks. So like uh, right. investors would be like, well, we lost money this year, but it's like we're Amazon. You're right. You're Amazon. <laughs> Everyone knows Amazon and the way that they're doing Fucking things. Twelve hundred. It's just it's reinvestment. Speaking of stocks, man, Bitcoin. But it's not a it's not a stock. But a cryptocurrency. Sixty thousand. Yeah. Dude, I was I saw it on Monday because I have an app that looks at these cryptocurrencies and I saw like it was at um, something like fourteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Yeah. A but fourteen thousand Canadian. Yeah. It was. This was on Monday, and then it just. Brrr, next thing I know, Friday it's twenty thousand. I'm like. <gasps> <laughs> like for one so i was having morning. this discussion with armin uh in 2010 if you bought a hundred dollars yeah with a bitcoin it would you would have had 200 million dollars today well I was, when i was at yeah. sixteen thousand, you would have 200 million dollars for for a hundred dollars with a bitcoin uh back in 2010. back in 2010 wow that was when it was it went from 0.008 to 0.08 that's when people started hearing about it um 
so with this everyone's running to bitcoin and it is everyone's like it's not a viable currency no one supports it actually japan is starting to su support it a lot of other people are starting to support well, it. well that's that's the thing in, in china they, they use a cryptocurrency on on um on messenger apps yeah and people use this to to like get pizza well i don't know if they have pizza but yeah you know that that, that kind yeah. of stuff like small things so they're saving their real money and spending this cryptocurrency on small little shit so that you normally the thing the on. thing with this is i i i think for for cryptocurrencies the only one that'll really make all that money is bitcoin because it's bitcoin unless google starts making their own and they're like, we're going to have this and it's going to be matched to fucking Bitcoin. Then it might mm. very well do just as well. But I think, well, all these little smaller cryptocurrencies, Bitcoins is still the top one. Yeah. And it is viable. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. If people have like you think fiat money is is actually has value, it only has value because you we because people uh, think, believe it is. Yeah. yeah. It's just like cryptocurrency. Well, it's the same thing with our currency. It has value. I mean. It's technically a five dollar bill and a ten dollar bill like we're just saying oh this is worth it's, 10. it's based okay. off of something that we can export and whatever right. money we make, that canada can make that's why you can print more money based on what we made the last year however it, it the, the actual paper money isn't valuable if someone thinks that the dollar if the rest of the world decides oh canada's dollar is going to drop guess what canada's mm, dollar will, will drop, will drop. Mm. If, if everyone believes that the canada's dollar is going to is valuable and you should invest in it guess what the dollar is going to go up and it's going to go up really quickly that's how like the, these currencies work same thing with bitcoin it's the exact same thing except there's a finite amount of them you, you, you there isn't an infinite amount of bitcoin and the, the more people buy them up the more expensive they get because there's less of them it's like gold mm. it's real capitalism it, yeah it's, unlike this fake um for a fractionary reserve yes uh, banking system that we have it's very much like gold gold goes up mm. in price because there's less gold available on the market and people need it the more right. like, supply of, of demand actual supply yeah. and demand mm. yeah bitcoin is a digital thing but and people can try mining them but it costs a lot of money to mine one bitcoin it costs like the amount of i think from what I heard, it's the same as powering a house for a month to, to mine one Bitcoin. But, that, but that's the thing. They, they said they're only going to have X amount of Bitcoin. Yeah. They're never going to make more. So the value of these Bitcoins will just go up and down based on you know what people what people say it, it is basically and i'm sure hey, but it's like that with the stock market dude yeah, yeah. i see this with like the, the 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 cannabis stuff and like if they if the, anything like these companies especially like these canadian companies the, the, everything is based on future sales and their stocks are the, their value of their stocks yeah. is going up based on future sales and then when you hear of like so this province uh is thinking of doing it this way and if it has any negative uh, effect like oh we're all, they're, they're going to be uh, selling it only at let's say at quebec only in the saq Oh, now all of a sudden the stock yeah, goes down. Less... Oh no, wait, Kushtard is going to get in on it. All right, now the stock goes it's up. It, it's, <laughs> it's for investment, being able to make money off of your thing. So Bitcoin will go up and down like this for a while, but I also think it's going to—it's a bubble, and eventually people are it's going to be diminishing returns. It won't go. It might go up to fifty thousand, might go up to, but eventually people will stop buying them. But dude, yeah, even as, if it is a bubble, like what's the worst that's going to come? Well, like maybe if, for us if now, it's, it's, if, it's, if it's it's a done. bubble. It'll, yeah, it's it can crash late. down. It, it'll yeah. crash. But yeah. the person that bought it in twenty ten is still going to have made a huge. Oh profit. yes, but the people buying it now. Oh, now, no, 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 no. Buy a bubble. Yeah, yeah. People who are for early adopters, hundred percent. Yeah, they're that, like, yeah, they're like oh, I'm rich. Yeah, for but, sure, man. Um, also, those people who were early adopters well, might not be so inclined to sell it ever. The the mm. two guys from um, the that that started. Um, well, Mike, Mark Zuckerberg, the, the founder of Facebook, when he stole the idea from uh, from those two twin guys. I think that was fake from that movie, though. Are you getting that from the no, movie? No, this is, this is true because really? they, they talked about it. Uh, recently, they were in the news, those two guys, because mm -hmm. they when they settled, they got a, like a... They, they brought Mark Zuckerberg to, 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 to court and they won something like, I think it was like 11, maybe 20 million. And what they did is they took 11 million and they invested in Bitcoin. And this was with $11 million worth of Bitcoin. And right now they are the first people to become billionaires from Bitcoin. Wow. <laughs> when it hit on Monday to 14,000. Damn. If we get, like I have, I have an imagination that like people, a lot because it's really not the whole world's getting in on it. Once it like spreads, it'll, it might not even go up to a hundred thousand dollars of Bitcoin, but eventually that bubble will pop mm. and it, it could crash down. I don't know how much it could, it could crash down to $20,000, but from a hundred thousand to 20,000, that's a huge drop. Um, 
but it, it's it's the same thing with other stocks mm. like when people are running to it run away from it when people are running away from it run to it mm. uh, that's why when you saw it drop back down it went back up again i also predicted that with the, the nintendo companies uh, with nintendo stock when uh pokemon go came out mm. i said that i knew that nintendo didn't make the game yeah it's but true. people were buying nintendo stock because they thought oh my god this game is amazing mm. everyone's playing it i even told a friend of work he's like so watch perception is what raised the value yeah, of nintendo. exactly and that's the problem it had no value it was people People perceived Nintendo to make it because it was a Nintendo product, but it wasn't them. Yeah. And I told my buddy Tom, I was like, he just came into a, to work one day. He's like, did you see Nintendo stock? It's flying, right? I'm like, yeah, but give it like a week and that thing's going to crash. As soon as it's out that Nintendo, when Nintendo says we didn't make this game, mm. that thing's going to crash. And by the end of the week, the fucking thing crashed. Yeah. Because it wasn't Nintendo. It was the Nintendo, the Pokemon company who made the game. Mm. So... I'm I'm learning more about the stocks because I want to see like it's pattern it's pattern recognition it being is. able to see when they, what, what people perceive is what matters so future future products there's a confidence there that you're gonna make money on that so let me invest in you so I can make some money back when you sell those products hmm. same thing with like you can say the same thing with Sony or Microsoft when they release a new product all right PlayStation Five is coming out in a year let me buy some Sony stock now when it's low by that time whenever when they start selling it they're gonna make lots of money people are gonna invest in the Sony I'll pull my money back out there. They'll run away for run to it when everyone else is running away. Run away from it when everyone else is running to it. Mm. It's what um, Warren Buffett. That's his main, main advice, and he's one of the richest people on the planet. And he also uh, just to get back on the cryptocurrency, Venezuela, the, to to fight their economic their their hyperinflation. Yeah, yeah. and because the uh, their banking system is corrupt. They want to introduce their own cryptocurrency so, to fight that. This is why I mentioned Japan earlier. This is why Japan is starting to use Bitcoin because they've been deflating for like 20 years. And the problem with deflation is when you have, you're going to hoard money because it, oh, it gets more valuable every day. Um, and people don't spend as much. And then that causes prices to crash and people will have to lose money over here. So it's been 20 years for Japan. So Japan has been pushing a lot of. Here's Bitcoin. It's stable. Let's go with Bitcoin. We don't have to worry about. It. There's no central banking system. There's. Mm. It's just there is what it is, and uh, you might have like point triples nine zeros one of a uh, Bitcoin equals a dollar, but it, it's still pretty viable. It's stable mm. for now, at least. Uh, and pe uh, either with hyperinflation or deflation, you you can shift over to Bitcoin, and that's why it's viable. If and countries, this is why you know, banks are are not liking this bitcoin and they're they want to find and then the government wants to get in on this because they want to find a way to tax it right hmm. and that's, to stop the illegal shit that happens through bitcoin well, that's basically why bitcoin that's that's really going to be their argument oh it's because yeah. uh, uh, well, people are, are ordering like you know uh, paying a hitman with with bitcoin well honestly bitcoin honestly not that, that, that popular because of illegal activity you, you you go to the dark web you only pay well you can pay in other forms but bitcoin is the but way this to go. is this is uh, the, the, like you could say that about anything man like you can but just like porn sets the standard for uh technology today bitcoin came about because of illegal activity it's not it's it, it's, it's a taint on there but it's not necessarily it, it got it was being used because it couldn't be tracked well, anyways, my my final confession <laughs> <laughs> is, um, yeah, I'm I'm interested in this cryptocurrency shit and and stocks and all of that stuff, and uh, I think I think if if we were to, ha I think cryptocurrency might be a maybe I'm wrong, a better way than universal basic in income in the future. Fair enough. My final confession. DC, uh, Warner Brothers stole the fuck down. Why you gotta rush like that? You don't always have to fuck her hard. You're ruining my childhood! I said Warner Brothers. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. You're saying, I thought you were talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Warner Brothers, you don't always have to fuck her hard. You're ruining his childhood. You're ruining my childhood. Two, fuck. Poland, you scare me, but you're very nice people. <laughs> <laughs> you're nice people. Just you scare me when you drive. You do, you do. And I mean, me being scared when someone's driving, that doesn't happen too often. Three... Uh, cryptocurrencies are definitely fucking viable. If you do not think it's viable, stay in the past. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can get into Bitcoin at this point because it, I, even if I were to buy one, I'd, <laughs> I'd, <laughs> but, I'd have no, to mortgage you, you, a house. You could, you could buy like a fraction you of have, a Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, you, totally can. Can. yeah, yeah you, you could do that. You could put in a thousand. I really wish my 20-year-old self... You see, I final confession, but a quip here. Uh, 
I've always said like, man, if I knew about Bitcoin in 2010, I would have totally bought $100 worth of it. But I also know that during struggling times, I would have sold it all off to pay off some debts or whatever. <laughs> so I wouldn't be at all the, as rich as I think I was. Speaking of money, I got to say thank you to Jean Pascal because of him. I won some money yesterday. So that was pretty nice. It was uh, 25 bucks. I won 150. Thank you, Jean Pascal. Yeah, I'm how sure many, he thinks. Yeah, yeah, how many? Because uh, yeah. it was uh, six to one if you win by KO or TKO. How, many, when, and how I got much it. money have you lost? Well, in the last w two weeks, I made 210 bucks. Oh, mon dieu. But I lost money for the Mayweather fight because I was betting against him because I figured, because it's pointless to bet for him. So it just had excitement. Yeah. But I would say overall, honestly, I'm, I'm even. Now with Sam, uh, I'm even. But uh, I have a new strategy, and uh, we talk about bitcoins and all that shit. But uh, I'll get my money uh, doing boxing. Uh, boxing bets. I'm never gonna. Uh, put even it, if you I just start seeing Ivy, just like he's making a pot right now, right, of yeah. money, and then eventually this money is just gonna get bigger and bigger. He's gonna start making bigger and bigger bets. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it happened to some people. Like started with my twenty bucks, now I'm yeah, at yeah. two hundred. I don't want to put more money into it, but I, I have I have a feeling. That 200 bucks. Well, that's how some people I'll, I'll start. I'll get to a thousand. That's how some sure. people start making a living with, uh, with like Wall Street and shit. Mm. They just started with some money, make some, and then they just start using that pool of money. Yeah. That they that they don't instead of using their their profits to spend it on shit, they just decide, hmm, let's re put it in, and you know some of it goes down, some of it goes up, and eventually, next thing you know, they're realizing, hmm. Oh, fuck my job. Yeah, you just got to start doing this with, shit. With boxing, like yeah, I just... Coke and... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to go there. But I just got to do it smart because before I was doing uh, the underdog, like, yeah, I was going to lose. But now, if I do it smart, I knew Kovalev would win in three rounds because he has come back, two loss with under rewards. He did it. I know Jean-Pascal would win KOTKO KO, last fight. I think he's faking his last fight because he's going to want to come back to fight uh, uh, Stevenson. But I just knew he would win KOTKO. You see, you also watch boxing every single week yeah, and yeah, you exactly. follow it. So yeah. so it's mu it makes much more sense for you to start betting on that rather than me. Mm. If I bet on that stuff, I'm just going to be asking you, hey, should I do this? Should I do that? <laughs> you know, it's different. Yeah. You're, you're going based on all the stats you know and everything. Mm. Um, We'll see where that brings me. Maybe in two weeks, I'll say, guys, I'm back to the zero. I, I know we're on final confessions, but yeah. one last thing also. Because <laughs> you're talking about the fights and everything. Did you hear what happened to GSP? He he you're vacated like, his yeah. 185 yeah, yeah. or 175 uh, title because he has colitis. That's fucked up. And I only got a couple of words. So do I. To say to you. See ya! See ya, motherfucker. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>